So everybody, what is it that we're looking for? What piece of information are we looking for in your words? What is it that we are looking for? Go ahead, give it to me. In your own words, in a couple words, couple in a sentence, what is it that we are looking for in this problem? So Jesse, to be a little more specific, not just any month, right? We, we're not just gonna say January or February or March or April. They're asking, hey, what month was it 61 months ago? So the month that it was, 61 months ago. So everybody, if we're saying, it's all good, Joshua. If we're saying 61 months ago, are we looking forward 61 months or backwards 61 months? Which way are we going? We're going 61 months backwards. Okay. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. So let's remind ourselves here, everybody, let's list out the months just in case, um, you know, we're just having a tough time remembering. So let's go ahead and list out a full calendar year. So help me out, everybody. First month is, help me out. Thank you, list them out. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. I'm gonna need more room. Uh, let me go ahead and give myself some more room. Boom. So July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, cool. So just to make sure we got them all listed out in order correctly, cool, we're good. And so everybody, what did it say the current month was? Current month is what? November. Right? If we can all list out all the months in order, I think we can all be happy about that, right? That's a passing score on the ASVAB. So here, we started here, and we want to go back 61 months. Does that make sense to everybody so far? We're starting in November, and we want to go 61 months ago. We just want to go backwards by 61 months. Okay, so I'm going to show you like some of you have said, you know, this problem seems difficult, but it's there's, there's actually a very straightforward trick to this. And this is, again, where arithmetic reasoning or understanding strategy comes into play. So watch this, everybody. All right, we're trying to count backwards 61 months. Here's what we do. One month ago is October. Two is September. Three is August. Four is July. Five is June. Six months ago is uh, May. Seven months ago is April. Uh, eight months ago is March, nine months ago is February, 10 months ago is January. What's going before that? Yep, then we're right back to December for 11 months. And where are we 12 months ago? 12 months ago, we're right back at November. Interesting. Everyone, quick question. How many months are in a year? Twelve. So everyone, is it true that every time we go back twelve months, we end up right back on the same month? Yep. So here's the easy trick, or here's this isn't the easiest way to do it, but here's how you can make sense of it. Everyone, if we go back twelve months we end up right back at November. We end up right back at November because that's a whole year. If we go back another 12 months, 
we end up still at November. If we go back another 12 months, we're still at November. We go back another 12 months, still at November. Everybody, we're trying to get back to what? 61 months ago? Okay, we're back to 48. If we go back another 12, how many months ago is that now? If we go back another year, where are we at now? 48, another 12 is 60, exactly. We end up still at November. We're at 60 months ago. We need to get to how many months ago, everybody? And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. Now on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. Yeah, we just need to go one more month back. And what happens when we go one more month back? Right here, minus 61, that is October. That falls on October, right there, right there. Did that blow anybody's mind in terms of how straightforward that could be? <laughs> Did that blow anyone's mind in terms of how simple that can be? Okay, right on. And so here's a more favorable way to look at this. Another favorable way to look at this is by thinking about it as a remainder. Because everybody, is it not true that we were going in 12 month cycles until we couldn't anymore and then we started counting the rest of the way? Is that what we did? We started going 12 month cycles and then once we couldn't go any more 12 months, we started counting individually. So look at what happens here. If we have 61 months, right? We're gonna see how many times 12 can go into 61. Look at what happens here. Everybody, how many times does 12 go into 60? Five times. And so if it can go into a 12 to, or five whole times, so 12 months, five whole times, that's five years. But then what do we have left? When we subtract the 60, we have one month remaining and what does that mean what that means is if you're going back 61 months you are going to go back one two three four five years and then the remaining one month and that's what gets you back this is right here that's what gets you back 61 months you can just go five times so 60 is just five years then you have one month left over. So you can start at the same month, start at November, then go back one more month. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.